Hello, my name is Chris Walsh. I'm a systems engineer for Nutanix in Austin, Texas, and I'm going to run you through the installation and configuration of Nutanix Collector. If you go to Nutanix.com slash downloads and log in, you can choose Collector from the product list. It should be listed right here. Uh, depending on your operating system, you download the version that you would like to install. And once that is complete, you open up the zip file and extract. Once you have the application open, you'll want to select what you're going to connect to. You can see I'm, I'm logged into a PRISM here and the default port is 9440. Just enter uh, my username and password. It will begin scanning and gathering information about the environment you're connecting to. Our environment only has one PRISM element. If we connected to a PRISM central that had multiple, we could choose several different PRISM clusters. But our example here only has one, so we'll go ahead and collect on this one environment. It's a pretty small environment. We're just trying to gather up some of the details. As you can see, we have pulled up some of the <laughs> little used environment details, but in the interest of just seeing how it works, you can see we've got a number of options here. The primary one we want to look at is the save output as XLSX, save it as spreadsheet. This is the way to import into the Nutanix Sizer. So the collector gathers information about your environment. In order for us to import it into Sizer, we have two options, primarily save output as XLSX. We can also save the collection as a zip file or we can go to our portal. And when you log into the portal, I'll show you briefly what that looks like. Right now, we just want to save as XLSX. You can mask, it's up to you, but then you'll get an output that you can load into the sizer yourself or send to a Nutanix system engineer to load for you. And here is the Excel file. So if we go to the portal, we can upload new collections. When we upload a new collection, we have to have it, we have to have the zip file. So here is the zip file under Nutanix Collections. And we'll give this project a name. Upload, and now we have a new. We'll have a new project inside of our portal. And when you have more useful information, there's all kinds of dials and IOPS you can you can review. You've got a cluster summary, host summary. You can look at individual hosts. VM summary. Those will give you details about a, an amalgamation of all of your your VM totals, and then you have individual VM lists where you can sort by CPU and gigahertz. So valuable information. I hope you found this useful. Have a great day.